This is Twit. All right. So last week, uh, Mike and I originally planned to cover the uh, the Microsoft AI at Work event live. Yeah. And yeah, then I was briefed on what that was going to entail. And I contacted him and said, ah, forget about mm, it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's worth doing. Now, here's the issue. It's not that there wasn't anything interesting announced. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That is what it was. So the problem <laughs> is, the problem is they had this kind of AI work event, which they've done in the past. I remember that we were, uh, I'd gone to one in September in New York. Um when you when I when I looked over the the video, they eventually went public and the materials and everything. It was very clear that on uh, despite the fact that they talked about Windows 11, Windows 365, Copilot, and Microsoft 365, there was not an iota of news there, like not one new item. Wow. Um, there were some new Surface PCs announced, but only for business, which we'll get to in a moment, and. I had a, a weird kind of PTSD flashback um, back in the day, by which I mean the very early 2000s and beyond. Microsoft used to release software on a very kind of uh, what we would now think of as uh, <laughs> like lengthy schedule, right? So a new version of Windows might come out every three to five years or whatever. And the problem was for Microsoft that you would get these big bang sales things occurring at those times, and then things would slow down and there was nothing to talk about in between. And so when Microsoft was about halfway between a release of Windows or Windows Server or Office, they would go out and beat the PR drum in what they used to call, they would have momentum updates. And I I started like, uh, to me, like the word momentum is actually triggering to this day. Like I still, it still makes me like feel it like weird. Like you would go, you would sit in a meeting for 45 minutes in person back then, right? Before all of a sudden you realized, wait a minute, they don't have anything. They don't have anything to discuss. They're just talking about how successful the thing they did two years ago is. Right. And um, they, those things were called momentum meetings. And I recall I was at a tech ed with a coworker. We were sitting outside of a meeting room waiting for the previous meeting to end. And I looked at this guy I was sitting next to and I said, if this guy says the word momentum, I'm going to slowly close my laptop and I'm going <laughs> to beat him to death with it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he opened the door and he said, Paul, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, I'm really excited to talk to you about Windows Server Momentum. And, ah! and we just, we just both <laughs> lost it. Like, oh, you're going to be kidding yeah, me. Like, that, that's what this thing is. Anyway, that's what that event was. It was Momentum. And it, it, it was presented as if no one had ever heard of Copilot, <laughs> how it has improved Windows, Microsoft 365, whatever features are in Windows 11, which aren't much. Um, it was presented as if it were new, <laughs> you know, so that part was not particularly interesting. I don't think to a lot of people, it wasn't embarrassing. It wasn't like Panos Panay at uh build last year, but it was, it was off. Like it felt weird. Um, the other component, the, the bigger component to this was the surface stuff and slightly undercut by the fact that these are for businesses and are hard to buy as if you're an individual, um, you can do it. I mean, you can, uh, in fact, you can buy them direct from Microsoft if you want to, but you really have to go through some contortions of navigation to get to that point. And, um, you know, we're in a weird place too, in the release cycle, because Intel announced their alt, uh, core ultra chipsets. Well, I'm sorry. They announced them last year sometime, but they released them in December. There were some new PCs available. Then more came out at CES along with non-ultra Intel Core 13th generation based PCs that don't have MPUs. And then, you know, we've been told that next fall, they'll go back on a normal release schedule Intel, and this will be the way it was. But right now we're on this kind of weird cycle. And in that cycle, Microsoft and Surface are once again, kind of late to the game in a way, right? If you think about it from a December to September schedule, March, they announced this stuff. It's like, guys, everyone else already did this. So it's good. Uh, we have a new Surface Pro 10 and a Surface Laptop 6. Intel Core Ultra chipsets, which are okay, right? I don't think they're they're not setting any records for anything, but they do have MPUs. And uh, and these are the right Surface 
computers in some ways, right? These are the mainstream ones, right? Surface Pro, that's been a successful form factor for them and Surface Laptop, obviously. We, we can't actually buy these yet, right? Like they, the website still doesn't have them on there. It's still a nine in the five. I want my copilot key. Own, I, thought you, I thought you could buy them. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm, I don't remember, but just, I, I, I my go, problem I is- check is I see these announcements and I'm like, where? Where? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking past. So they're, yeah, they're going to be sold through the channel mostly, but I believe if you go to surface.com, you can- where is the copilot key going to be? Just out of curiosity. Where the, where's where's the it going to be? Key? Yeah. So uh, whatever that, uh, what was it called? That context menu key? Yeah. That used to be between alt and control on the right side of the keyboard. Oh, the old menu key. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the menu key. If you just like take a screwdriver and dig that thing right out of there. <laughs> Save your menu keys, That's folks, so you can replace the copilot <laughs> key. Yeah. And We're going to talk about the copilot key. The okay, copilot we'll key is later. important, unfortunately. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so whatever you say. Um, well, so I, I, it's I'm always fascinated to watch how other people in my industry report on things that I'm also reporting on, right? And sometimes there are big differences. So I saw headlines that claim these were Microsoft's first AI PCs. No, not true. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, um, Microsoft Richard owns kind of implies a, that though, right? A, well, yeah. I, I I could actually explain it now. But he owns a, a Surface Laptop Studio or Surface Studio Laptop? Surface Studio 2 Laptop. Laptop, right. Which has an MPU in it, right? It's an Intel chipset and an MPU. That was the first. That was the real first. That's a, well, okay, but then we can go back in time to Surface Pro X. Yeah. Um, which was the Qualcomm that had oh, an yeah. MPU in it as well. And, they, and oh, they've had yeah. a couple of gens of that. So I, what, huh? what, what's going on? Well, as it turns out, Microsoft has, first of all, Microsoft did not describe this as their first AI PCs. They've described them as their first business or AI PCs for business. But it, to Microsoft, an AI PC is a computer that has an MPU and a Copilot key on the keyboard. That's Ooh. literally their definition. Uh, That's how you what know. Richard's missing on his computer is he doesn't have a copilot. You don't ain't, ain't got a copilot. How are you going to live, crippled. Richard? I got to return this machine. It's not I don't, I don't even back. know how you live with yourself. I don't I know. Don't, I'm in agony. Do you hide it behind a wall and use it with an external keyboard? Like, I don't even oh, know how you do it. So I don't know. It's it's horrible. So where are so, these on the Surface uh, page? Where are they? Right. Where would I find well, these? Brand new right, copilot okay. keyed. NPU based fine. <laughs> let's find out. Machines. I believe the way to get these is actually to go to the Microsoft store. But let, let's let's look. Well, so computers, store, we can go to store. Store. That's oh, okay. We can go to Surface Laptop. They're not there. Not nope. there. What's going on? They're actually gone. I found these on the store. What is happening? They're literally not there. That is hilarious. Why? Oh, computers for business. That's why. You have to, uh, nope, they're not there either. <laughs> I, 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 I have found them here. Uh, Somewhere why, why, inside here. That's crazy. <laughs> Meet the new AI. Here we go. I'm sorry. Microsoft.com slash Surface slash business. Okay. Surface Pro details, Surface Laptop 6 details. And that's a PDF file. I think they've changed the site. I literally clicked through to this. They I've saw done this Paul before. visiting. Meet the new AI that is, PC. That's Let's amazing. See. Is there what? a copilot key on this sucker? Why, yeah, there, there, are. Is. there are copilot keys. Why, there it is. Because you can search, when you search for resellers, one of the resellers that comes up is Microsoft. And you click through to that, and then you get to, yeah, here we go. Surface Pro. All right, so it's it's really hard. Like I said, I told you it was hard to find. So doing this live was maybe a mistake. It, it is pre-order, so they're not available yet. But you can pre-order, and they are available in a bunch of different configurations. And it's really hard to, I don't know if you found it or not, but yeah. I could probably step you through it. I think I found, no, no, it. I'm looking at it, right, aren't I? Okay. Yeah, this is a nine, but. Uh, what you want to, no, 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 no. If you want to get to the says, 10 and then. Introducing the new AI PC. Oh, there it is, yeah. Service Pro 10. There yeah. we go. Whoops. But it's a, that PDF. Was a PDF. No, Maybe no, that's the wrong thing. Let's just watch so, the video. Unlock a new era of the way, the way to do it. Yes. <laughs> is oh, to I find the. At, at, these haircuts are terrible. What is going on? All right. I see the copilot key. I can spot it. So one of the reasons yeah. I'm not crazy about this is because yeah. I use Linux. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say is because I have a brain in my head. And I know that uh, there's no, re this key doesn't make any. I don't want a copilot key. I can, I got yep. it anyway. Right. I just, yeah. I know how to I get it. We could find her. We could find a way to make this work without a copilot. It's branding. Yeah. It's like putting Intel you think, inside you think a sticker. It. A sticker. Oh, what's that? Oh, those yeah. are adaptive technologies. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah. It's like having a I sticker. I like the adaptive Atari 2600 joystick. Yeah, mm. that's pretty funny, isn't it? Hey, um, it's a classic. Anyway, it, you can, you can pre-order them now. It's very hard to find, as we just demonstrated, but it is there. You have to go to the place where it says find a research a reseller, and then you select Microsoft, and that gives you Ooh, the Microsoft website where you can actually pre-order. You can, like in fact, pre-order. I like that. This is all part of the Qualcomm Elite, right? That's the whole key. No. What's that? No, these are Intel. Intel. So that, that's the that's the issue. So Microsoft has uh, long been rumored to be coming up with updates to these devices in both Qualcomm and Intel forms, right? So the Intel forms are available now slash soon, I guess, uh, for businesses. And the, and look, and you get another indication that Microsoft believes that these things are going to make sense for individuals. They're actually going to ship the consumer versions just with the Qualcomm chipsets. Apparently, they haven't announced that, but. Huh. That's the, the story. So the business will, will be Intel. In it's the mullet of computers. Intel <laughs> in the front and mm -hmm. Qualcomm in and the back. Qualcomm in the back. Okay. <laughs> I, like it. I got it. Which part is the part? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> Interestingly, we learned of Microsoft's definition of an AI PC from Intel, which has its own definition, which has nothing to do with Microsoft's, other than the fact that Intel, too, would like you to use an Intel class or an Intel CPU with it. An MP, which today is the only generation we have of Intel Core Ultra chipsets, right? That's what we have. So I don't know. Uh, in, uh, Intel, being a kind of a hardware maker, is talking about more technical details. They want the MPU to hit a certain, you know, tops value, which is one of those benchmarks we use to measure the performance of an MPU that will probably be out of date in about 10 seconds and, you know, yada, 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 whatever. But, um, there you go. NPU Copilot and the new Copilot key. Ooh. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.